this is Gary the Dino Guy Olson. And last time we looked at some fake fossils and got started with some things. Now we're gonna look at some more fossils that have been altered or changed or composited and use those terms again like we did in the first episode. So I hope you're ready and we're gonna have a good time. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about Mosasaurs. Mosasaurs are one of the most commonly faked out uh, creatures that there is. They, they fake out jaws and teeth and everything else. They're the most abundant teeth that you'll find in Morocco, but they always do something different with them every time to make them fake, you might say. So we're gonna take a look at that much closer and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. This is a pair of Mosasaur jaws in Matrix. Matrix is the rocky material that fossils are found in. Mosasaurs, their closest living relatives are the Komodo dragons. Now this pair of jaws you'll see in stores and at shows, and they usually sell anywhere from $25 to several hundred dollars. It's fake. The teeth are real and some of the bone pieces may be real for Mosasaur, but they're just composites. And most of the bone is just random pieces from who knows what. Most have very little to no real Mosasaur jaw bone pieces in them. These fabrications are seen at lots of shows and stores and as long as they are sold for what they are, a composite, not anatomically accurate pieces, then it's all right. But most of them are being touted as real and they are found in the ground that way. And they really aren't, it's truly deceptive. You can see here that the rock is dished out and filled with another material, the matrix, with teeth and bone pieces placed and filled in around that matrix. Um, look at these bones. They're just random chunks. The teeth are real, but they are random and not from one individual. Some are from different species of mosasaurs and shouldn't be in here at all. Again, not a very convincing attempt to make these uh, remotely uh, accurate, you know, and don't be fooled by these poor renditions from these jaws. This is a mosasaur jaw section and it is real jaw pieces from a mosasaur. The only problem is these teeth are glued on when puttied on, but they're also opposite each other. So they shouldn't be side by side like they show here. This is where the next tooth would come in and it should be on the same side, but they're not. So they're just randomly stuck together. And you'll notice also the color is way off, way different. Both of these teeth are just put on there. This Mosasaur jaw section has real bone again, but you can see they puttied in here. Also, if you take a look at the bottom of these teeth, they are puttied on as well. Now here's a big problem with this one here. I'm gonna turn it around to the other side and we do have another tooth that's coming in and that's natural, teeth replace each other and this tooth is coming in, but notice the curvature on this tooth, it's curving that way. All these other teeth are curving this way. All the teeth should be curved the same direction. So that is, the teeth are obviously put on backwards compared to this tooth coming in. And this is an example of the same thing we just looked at, where you have a tooth that's growing in normally, and it's curved this way, but the tooth on top is put in the opposite direction. And that's not how these would be. So these are Mosasaur teeth that are in matrix. And normally in matrix, you can see that the matrix comes all the way around the sides and around the root here. You can see it's not been puttied. So these are all natural. And this is how you would find them. Now it broke off and they put that piece back on, that's fine. It's just that this is how they are in the matrix. You'll see other ones where they place them in the matrix. Another way you can tell that this is matrix and this tooth came from it is you also have bone pieces that are naturally found in that matrix along with the tooth. They're not placed there, they're actually in the rock. So these Mosasaur jaws we looked at, they're just glued together. So all you have to do is break them. There's nothing to it. So you can see these jaws, they should technically be anatomically be put together like this, but you can see the teeth are both curving towards each other and they just didn't do that. The only way to fix that is take the tooth off and put it on the other side. So you can see, if we want the jaw to be accurate, this tooth would have to be on this way so that they're both pointing the same direction. I hope you like this episode and you continue to watch this series and I hope you share this with your friends.
So tune into the next episode when we deconstruct shark teeth. We're gonna take a big bite out of some of those teeth. So until next time, don't be fooled.